All right, guys, how you doing? Thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in, whatever. Anyway, how to get your showbox movies to your PS3, your laptop, play them on a smart TV, transfer them to the USB port. I'm going to run down how to do all this. Bear with me. Let's see. First, you pick your movies. Whoops. Sorry. One second. There we go. Pick your movies. Download your movies. Also, real quick, getting your show box to download directly to your SD, something I don't know if it can be done. At least I haven't figured it out yet. haven't really tried too much. But you pick your downloads, you download them. You can, after you've completed a download, you can pick the file and you can move it. Obviously, I'm not going to do it because those are still downloading. But as you can see, SD card, show box. I have them there. And I'm going to show you how to do something else, too. See right here, this is a problem that I'm sure everybody's running into. At the end, you see it says uh, temp. And that really sucks. It doesn't let you play it on anything else other than the um, actual app. Which kind of defeats the purpose of having it. But... This is what keeps it legal, because technically you're not supposed to be able to do it. Now, I will... I guess I'll transfer them. I'll transfer one file for you, just so you can see how to do it. So you're going to want to hook up your phone to a computer. A second here, I'll run the camera. There we go. You want to hook your phone up to a computer... Using, you know, the US, your charging cable, your USB cable. As you can see, I've already transferred a couple. So, I'm only going to do one. Transfers do take a second. I will pause during the transfer to give, a, give it a second. So, the video will jump, but I'll come in at the end of the transfer. So, that way you could actually see that it's transferring. Twilight, and you see it comes up. Type temp file. I'll show you how to fix that in a second. Now, you're going to want to transfer it over to videos. And now it's actually transferring. And I'm going to pause it for a second. Alright, we're at the end of the transfer. It actually didn't take that long. It, I mean, it took like a minute, if that. And we are done. Now, go to your videos, and real quick, just in case I didn't explain, let me go back here. Once you plug your phone into your laptop, you want to look for your phone, and then you want to look for, and as you can see, I transferred mine to the card, and then you want to look for the file, and then you transfer them. And, you know, if you haven't transferred it to your SD, then it would still be on your phone, and then you just want to look for the showbox file over here. All right, back to this. Now, you can see Twilight Saga, Breaking Dawn, Part 2, MP4.temp. This is real easy to fix. You just click on it, rename. Now, you want to be careful. Don't touch anything other than your mouse, and then click at the end of temp. And then you just delete temp all the way up to the 4. And now it's going to tell you, you know, it could make the file unstable, basically. So far, I'm at 5,600 files, and I haven't run into any problem with this. And boom. There you go. You can see it's a regular MP4 video. Oh. Uh. Yeah, as you can see, I have my laptop hooked up to the TV there. And this right here is... I'm trying to turn on the flash here. For some reason, it ain't coming on. Oh. Alright, never mind. I can't record it. Alright, I can't turn on the flash. This right here is a 3.0 fast USB port, high transfer rate. 
or USB drive. I keep saying port. Um, yeah, high transfer rate. Plug it in. Which I probably should plug it in on the other side, but it doesn't really matter. It still transfers fast. Go to your videos. Now you want to look for the removable disc. It's right here. And I want to transfer over Breaking Dawn Part 2. I'm only going to do one file since, you know, it takes a while to transfer. Transferring over. In a minute and 15 seconds. But I'm going to pause. I'll come in at the end of the transfer so you can see that it's transferring over. Alright. Just about finished. And it took less than a minute. Transferred pretty fast. There we go. Now let's pull up the removable disc. You can see that it's, it's on here. It's part 1 and part 2. Now you want to go to this. This is something else. You don't just pull the USB drive out because that can damage your files. So you want to you want to right click it, and there you go. See eject, click eject, and then it'll tell you now it's safe to remove hardware. That's just you know a quick tip. A lot of people they just eject it and that can really mess things up. Um. I'm going to try something real quick to get my flashlight on while I run the camera. There we go. Awesome. Now you take the USB drive and plug it into the ports in your PS3 or PS4. And there you go. You're plugged in. I just transfer this real quick um now i'm in the hdmi as you can see i already tried to do this once before but there were some problems with the audio let me get out of this all right now you go to your videos and look for the usb drive and you can see right there usb drive ultra hit triangle display all now, the display all, doing it this way, this is when you have multiple files to transfer. I'm only transferring one, but I figured I'd do it that way anyway. And you find your file, triangle again. Over here, you got some options. Play, play from the beginning, copy, delete. Obviously, we want to copy, but you can play it right from the USB. If you already have a bunch of files, games, music, pictures on your PS3, you don't want to clog it up, you could play it right from the USB plays fine no lagging no nothing copy again this uh takes a second so i will pause and come in at the end of the transfer all right uh, it's finishing up bang it, it takes i mean it's it's about 100 seconds it, it roughly transfers right over you want to go out of there, exit out of it. Now you can go to your videos. Now here's a problem that I started to run into before I gave up on um, transferring the files and just leaving them on my USB drives because I have a shit ton of them. You kind of get cluttered. You can organize your PS3 video files. All you got to do is create video folders. Um, I guess I won't go into that right now because it does take a lot of explaining. But it can be done. Now, you just want to look for the twilight. Obviously, you know, it starts with a T, so you're going to go to the T. What did I do? I did part two. Twilight, Breaking Dawn, part two. And there you go. Video files playing, no problems. No lags, fast forward, stop, rewind. Real simple to do, guys. Like I said, I like to leave them on the USB drives, and I'll show you exactly why. Why would you want to leave them on your USB drives? Because it's cool to be able to fit thousands of video files just in little pouches like that, on stashed on USB drives. Plus, I have a smart TV, so I can do things like this. The back of my TV 
has a uh, USB port. You can see I have my little 64 Gorilla USB drive plugged right in. And now I'm going to take my TV and transfer. Go into high media. Uh, um, what just happened? There we go. Um, it's different with uh, all smart TVs, I guess, but... And I don't know if this works on regular flat screens or regular TVs or whatever, but I know it works with all smart TVs. You can plug the USB drive right in the back, and all you got to do is go into your TV settings or menu, and you'll find the USB drive in there. For my TV, a Henson, it's Thai Media. I click on it. I click on it. There we go. This is my video folder. This is all my horror movies. My Gorilla Drive has nothing but the horror movies. That's kind of how I catalog them, and so that way I know what movies are where. And you could actually fit a lot more than this. I still have like almost 20 gigs, actually over 20 gigs of room left. Um, just for example's sake, Sidious Chapter 1. Click on it, and look, you see, you could play it. You got, you know... Rewind, pause, fast forward, work it just like a DVD. Stop. There we go. See, it's real cool, real simple, something I love to do. I love to do it this way. Plus, you know, when I go over friends, family, I just bring my drives with me and we can watch movies, whatever. So, showed you guys a few tricks. I hope I explained them well. Hope the quality, video, everything, audio is good to go. Any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer in a timely fashion. This is a real simple process, man. Love Showbox. Love the movies. Have fun and enjoy.